בעזרת השם, תורה ל"ח, ליקוטי מוהר"ן. So, Rabbeinu is teaching us Kabbalah here. Yara Bayam. Sus Verukhbo, Yara Bayam, that the Kadosh Baruch Hu, he shot the Egyptians into the sea. He spoke about the fears that people have in the Rabbadat Hashem, that while they're serving Hashem and they see things that are threatening on them and things that wakes certain fears and anxieties inside of them, they need to know for sure. First of all, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is on top of everything. A lot of times in Shlom Bayit, people are falling to fears and anxieties and people don't really know for sure what's going to happen to them in the future and what will be and especially young couples a few days ago a person spoke with me and he told me that he feels that his wife she hates him i started to laugh and i'll tell you why because for sure that your wife she she doesn't hate you just the opposite is is the truth she loves you so much and she depends on you so much that she hates you because you're disappointing her because her only hope is you so you're the main disappointment that she's got in her life so all of her anger and all of her frustration is aimed to the reason of why she's not succeeding so it's you the one that she counts on him the most but to understand that you need to care you need to love if you don't love if you don't care so you cannot feel if you're busy in yourself I, I, I remember once I helped some person and I took him from one place to the other and, and he's sitting in my car and he's telling me what to do and I'm, I'm helping him and, it, and it's okay by me. I wanted to help him, so it's, it's great. But the person, he's, I want this now, I want that now and he's, he's demanding and he's not asking and if I'll rebuke him, if I'm going to tell him, he will apologize. It's not like that he's really looking for, for, for a driver, but... That's the way he thinks, he's, okay, now I need to go here, now I need to go there. You forget that I'm doing a favor for you and oh, it's okay by me, I'm happy to help you, I would love to help you, but show, show some, and of course I didn't say a word, just, you know, inside you observe, you look, you say, wow, a person can live inside of his own prison and, and he, he doesn't feel no one else, he doesn't have other people in his world, so... If you're a person like that in a, in a certain relationship, in Shalom Bayit, you and your wife, you, you just feel your own needs and every word that she's saying to you, you feel so lost and, 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 and why she rebuked you and, and how come she hurts you so much. It's, you're not listening. You just live inside your own prison. You live inside your own jail and, and, and you don't feel and you don't recognize that she's She's hoping that she's yearning for, for, for salvation. She needs you, you to save her. She needs you to, to give her a hand. And that's the wisdom of, of, of having a heart, of, of caring about someone else. When you don't care, when you don't have a heart, when you're still busy in your own issues, in your lust and your desires, so you cannot feel the emotions and the needs of, of your partner. So, like we said always, that everything is going after the will. You need to want to want. You have to want to want. You have to want to want to help your wife. If you will not gonna want to help your wife to be there, to be a good husband, not to succeed as a good husband, not to receive compliments. And, and if that's your will, I don't know if Hashem gonna help you. No, not in those days, not in, not in, not, not, not in, uh, not under my, uh, how you call that, jurisdiction? Jurisdiction. 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 Yes. Jurisdiction. Not as long as I'm here. <laughs> not as long as I'm the sheriff. <laughs> Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. Jewish Jewish Jewish, Jewish. Jewish. <laughs> So the kids are not as long as I'm here. 
Because the truth is that that if you receive that job of to be a husband, really, so so you got some power in your hand. You are you are the leader of the house. You're in charge of the house. You're gonna lead that house, and people are gonna follow you if they will want or if they won't. I remember once I heard a horrible story on on a person that I know that he cheated his wife. He cheated her, and. She she heard some some rumors about that situation, and she didn't know completely. And he kept on hiding it, and they stayed together, even though that she really suspected something was very very wrong. But he, he so he apologized and he he made up some stories and and he fixed his side of the you know his um, his uh, version Gilsa his his. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, so okay, and but but she she was still stuck with her with her grudge, with her anger, with her crazy frustration. She felt something is wrong because he haven't done chuvai, he haven't fixed nothing, he haven't ap- apologized. And when when I spoke about it with my wife, and 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 I told her I don't understand how in the world a woman can can forgive on something like that. I don't understand how a woman can forgive on something like that. So my wife told me something that it, it shocked me. She said, like she's got a choice. I told her, what do you mean she's got a choice? She said, what do you want her to do? I said, what do you mean what I want her to do? She needs to kick his face out of the house and to start a new life. And I don't, I, I, She said, it's not going on like that. It's not happening. Those things are not happening. Women usually are, don't don't have that power to, and and they can be betrayed by their own husbands, and to live with their husbands for the rest of their lives with that horrible feeling inside that I don't have nothing to do because they don't believe in themselves that they're supposed to kick him out and they need to educate him and no matter what's gonna happen, no one allowed to treat you like that, and women are afraid to do that, and I'm 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 not gonna vote for that. I'm gonna help. I'm not gonna help that. We're not allowed to give no person in the world the power to rule and to be cruel and and to have the power to hurt someone else's feeling. If you done tshuva and Hakadosh Baruch Hu took away, removed all of the judgments above the head of the person, you apologized, you fixed. I don't know what you really made tshuva between you and Hashem. A real, real tshuva. You fixed it all. Okay, your wife gonna understand. Your wife gonna love you, but if your wife she still have judgments, she still have dinim angers on the husband, so the husband need to take responsibility on that. We spoke about that a lot of times. The obligation to make the wife happy is an obligation on the husband, on the father, on the man. If your wife she's sad and depressed and she's crying, it's not because she's uh, suicidal. It's not because she is uh, 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 in in depression or that she is a bad shiduch or that it was a mistake. It's because that you're not keeping your job. It's because you're not doing what that you've been told to do, and you have the responsibility. So if you have the yirat shamayim, feel from heaven that you say to yourself, "Okay, Hashem commanded me to respect my wife and to make her happy, and from that reason I'm going to do whatever it takes." Great. But even if you're not holding that level and you're just human, you see a person that depends in you, that he needs you, that his happiness depends in, in, in you, she needs your help, she needs your hand, she needs your word, she needs your ear, she needs your heart, she needs your attention, she needs your, your kindness, she needs your, your patience, she needs your love. How can you not give it? It's, it's, it's before of Torah. That's called Derech Eretz, Kadma La Torah. That's Derech Eretz. That's the basic Derech Eretz. You see, HaKadosh Baruch Hu put you in a house with a person. It's for life. You're not going nowhere. So now from that moment and on, it, it, it's your partner to the cell. Okay, you're in prison together for life. Have peace with the person. You want to fight for the rest of your life? That's the life that you, that you, that you order for yourself. That's what you wish to have. Always to fight, always to argue. It's hell. Like the Rav Shalom was, used to say, and he probably keep on saying that, if a person have the wisdom of, of Shalom, the Da'at Shalom, 
he can have peace with the devil. You, you can because it's not a problem because whatever she says, you say okay. You don't need to argue. First of all, yes, okay. Now you want to change something. A woman came to me. I met that woman in 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 New York, and she told me about issues that she's got with her with her son. So I told her. First of all, you need to give him the feeling that you count on him. No matter where he's going to take it, even if he's going to take it to do things against Judaism, things against the way that you want him to go in, okay, understand, you don't want to support bad things. And he going to take in the first steps your support to do bad things because you're going to tell him, I'm counting on you, it's okay, you can go, here, have money, well, I don't know what he's going to do with it. It, it. It's not good. But if you're not going to let him feel that you count on him, you killed him. So first of all, count on him. Give him the feeling that you're with him no matter what. And then go scream to Hashem. Then go cry to Hashem, please Hashem, save my son. Please Hashem, help my kid. Please Hashem, help us as a family. Please and please and please. Everything is great. Go fix your things in the roots. Go fix your situations with Hashem. Not on the, on, 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 on the child, not with him. He will not understand you. So, okay, your wife, she's rebuking you. She hurts you. She is insulting you. She brings you to those places that you don't know how to deal. She's boring you. She makes you crazy. You don't, you're, you're stuck in the house. You don't know what to do with your life. You wanted to learn Torah. You wanted to be Hasid. You, whatever you imagine that, that you're supposed to do in your life, great. You wanted to be rich even. You wanted to work. All great. First of all, you're not allowed to hurt your wife from that reason that she stops you. Because the reason that she stops you is because that Hashem Yitbach decided to stop you. And she's not the one to be blamed. You, if you suffer any surim below avon, there is a certain sin, certain crime, certain issue that the Kadosh Baruch Hu is holding you back because of that issue. And now you need to do tshuva, you need to fix it, you need to reconnect yourself to Hashem Barach. And when you're going to surrender to Him, nullify yourself to Him, please Him, atone, bring forgiveness, do tshuva, complete your tikkun, whatever, Hashem is going to remove the obstacles. Your enemies are the people from your house. It's a favor that Hashem is doing to you. It's a favor that Hashem is, is, is rebuking you and teaching you and healing you and fixing you inside of your house. Would you rather to be fixed in the yeshiva? You would you rather to be fixed in front of your, uh, all of your family, in front of all of your friends, in front of your boss, in front of, uh, I don't know, the college, in front of thousands of people. No, you rather to go through whatever you go through in your house, in your Dalet Amot. You want everyone to tell you that you're lazy, that you're worthless, that you you rather to hear it only from one person and, and when the door is closed and locked and and and, and you have time to shut off the, 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 window, the windows and, and to turn on the music and that no one's going to hear that she's screaming. Okay, at least it's it's in the house, at least, and 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 so it's a it's a big favor, and the one to fix it with is Hashem, and with the wife we need to 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 behave very well, very 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 nice, very wisely, to be kind, really to be a a, a merciful father, to be a merciful husband, to be a manhig rachman, a merciful leader that will be there for her, that's going to listen to her, that's going to love her, that's going to appreciate her. We're going to give her everything that she needs. And even just from the side of Derech Eretz, and if a person is saying, I don't have the power for that, it's too much for me, I'm not built for that, I promise each and every one of those people that have that opinion, you're going to pay so many times more. When you try to... to to avoid your responsibility, things that Hashem Yitbarach is commanding you, like Yonah Navi. Hashem Yitbarach sent Yonah Navi to a very hard mission. Okay, yes, it was a very hard mission. But Hashem is not sending you to a mission that you're not able to, to stand in. You're for sure going to complete it. So even though that it looks hard, seems to be hard for you, you can make it. And if not... So he's going to bring you to crawl, to beg to keep that mission in here. Please, please let me suffer under the hands of, of my wife. You're going to say, please bring me back after two, three years of, of, of up and downs. 
you or maybe downs and downs you're gonna you're gonna beg please where is that good wife that I abandoned? Where is that good situation? At least we had a house. At least I had a house. At least I, 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 I was eating. At least I was sleeping. At least I was drinking. At least I was, I was able to, 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 to snore, whatever. <laughs> but when the person is trying to, to, to get rid of, 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 of his obligation, from 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 what the Hashem is putting on 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 you to do, so the next things that are coming are a lot harder. So it's very very good to to take the burden when you're still young, when the couple are young, to work on your relationship and to and to work on your midot, on your own midot, and to beg to Hashem Baruch to tell him, please, everything that I am doing that is against the Torah. The Torah is a mirror for, for each and every one of us to show us how far we are from the truth. That's the truth. That's the real truth is like that it's written in the Torah. So now, if you find yourself far from the Torah, you're not acting like Abraham, you're not acting like Yitzchak, you're not like Yaakov. In the, in the situation between yourself to the brothers, you find yourself like the brothers and not like yourself. In the situation of Yehuda and Tamar, you're not like Yehuda. In the situation of in every situation, like David and Avshalom, you're not like David. In, in David and Yonatan, you're not like Yonatan. In, in every, you need to find yourself where you're holding in the parasha. Are you Bil'am, are you Korach, are you Paro, or that you Yosef, are you Yaakov, are you the Holy Brothers, Yehuda, the head of holy tribes? Who are you in those situations, in every parasha? In every, that, 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 that's not Torah Adam. So, in every moment of your life that you see that you don't keep the Torah, that you don't follow the, 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 the obligations or, or the stories of the Torah, the lesson of the Torah, the Musar of the Torah, the wisdom of the Torah, you need to straight up. You need to fix yourself. You need to take responsibility on that. If you're not honoring your wife, if you're not feeling the, the people, if you don't care about Am Israel, if you don't desire to receive the Torah, if you don't purify yourself in them, and whatever, and every, every detail and detail in your life, if you see that you're far from it, it should, it should push you to do tshuva, to wake yourself up, to send yourself to the field, to say, no more imaginations, no more, no more dreams. Taking responsibility from now on. And even if it's a long journey, even if it's going to take you 40 years, they were walking in circles, circles, circling the desert. For no reason, Hashem decided that's it. And they're accepting. That's the judgments. Those are the, that's the way that Hashem wants us to, 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 to walk. We're walking. And I said it a lot of times. The Yetzirah of the person is that he wants to complete everything today. He wants to be rich today, to be called righteous today, that his desires and lusts will not going to bother him anymore, that he's going to be perfect, he won't have to be worried about Parnassah, and, 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 and that's it, and that everything... So you, 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 you want to die. You actually want to die. You don't want to have a body. You don't want to have children. You don't want to have... The mitzvah of Shlom Bayit. You don't want to, to, to bring Parnassah to your house. You don't want to do tshuva. You want to die. That's actually what you're asking. Why won't you say, I, I'm, I'm ready to sacrifice every moment of my life. And even if I'm going to complete my tikkun here only after 120 years. At least in the last day of my life, I'm going to fix everything. And, and that's it. So why you need to do it earlier? Why not to accept that path that Hashem, that it's a long way. Okay, long life you're going to have. Fix. Every day, do something good. Do something useful. Learn a little bit more. Do a little bit more tshuva. Try to behave a little bit nicer. Try to break your, 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 your bad attributes, your bad middle. Try to be more generous, more kind, to listen more to people, to care more about people, to ask indeed, what to do. please Hashem, open my eyes, let me understand what's my mission, why I'm not succeeding, why I'm not happy, let me understand, and give, let me learn, let me understand you, let me know you, please. And every moment like that you should cherish you should be so happy so glad that you had that it was a dude that you had that goodwill that wow thank you hashem i really wanted you today you know hashem thank you you humiliated me and i and i took that lesson thank you hashem for for giving me the power to stand in that rebuke for doing tshuva thank you for showing me again what i need to fix and for giving me the opportunity 
and people to learn from and, and books to learn from and yeshiva to learn in and, 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 and whatever, a family to have, a house to, friends and, and Eretz Israel, and everything that you have, you can, you can find so much good inside of it. Just don't have that will of, of I want to g get over it. I want to, to take it all off. I don't want no responsibility. He wants to be like, uh, like, uh, like those... Uh, hippies that we spoke about yesterday in the 60s. He wants no one on his back, no one on his tail, no one tells him what to do. He wants to, oh, so you want to die. Actually, you don't want to be part of this world anymore. Okay, so there is a, 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 an application. Application. Tofes Avara. An application. You can write an application. Please, Hashem, transfer me to the world to come. Put it in the Kotel Amaravi. Maybe, maybe they're going to answer your prayer before the Daravim, the, the cleaners over there are coming and taking all of the notes every night. They're stealing the prayers, coming, those, <laughs> those damn workers, taking the prayers. But Baruch Hashem, Hashem, Shomat Filat Kol Hashem takes our prayers. We need to want to want. We need to want to want. Vim ta'aminu ta'aminu. If you will want and you're going to believe that you can, you're going to be believed. People are going to look at you and going to say, wow, it's, it's happening, really, you can change. But you need to want for that. If you don't want to change, so no class in the world is going to wake you up. Like we said, the students of Moshe Rabbeinu people that lived in the generation of Moshe Rabbeinu and they still had lust for women and they were dancing around the golden calf because they wanted to permit themselves the arayot, the Midianiot women and they you're talking about the students of Moshe Rabbeinu, people that saw Kriyat Yamsu, people that were about to receive the Torah, you're talking about holy people, you're talking about 250 years from, from Yaakov Avinu, from Yosef HaTzadik, you're talking about the grandchildren of Yosef HaTzadik, you're talking about holy, holy, holy people. And still, you know, if you, if you, if you count the years from Mount Sinai, from Ahmad Ar Sinai, till today, so it's something like 3,000 years. In every generation you have few people, righteous people, that Hashem gives them long life, at least 100 years. If you're going to divide 3,000 to 100 years, means those righteous people, you're going to have 30 people. Only 30 people saw each other, shook the hands one of each other from Mount Sinai till today. 30 people. They're not so far. We're talking about 30 people. That's it. 30 people like Rav Kaduri, like Baba Sali, people that had long life, like Rav El Yashiv, like, huge righteous people, 30, only 30, from Mount Sinai till today. It's not so far, it's not so... And if they lived 110, so it's coming down. Yeah, it's not so far. We need to believe, we need to believe in the powers that we have to fix. And then when... It's written, Tamur Uki Tov Hashem. First of all, you need to taste, and then you're going to see that Hashem is good. If you were not going to, not going to decide how you're going to taste, you need to buy that fruit. You need to, to, to make it uh, happen to, uh, if you want to taste. So if you're not going to put some effort on Shlom Bait, you will never going to feel the taste of Shlom Bait. Stories on Shlom Bait will not going to bring you to understand the importance of Shlom Bait. The effort on Shlom Bait going to bring you to such satisfaction, to such joy, to such happiness, to such wealth that you, you're going to feel like, like it was worthy. And it gives you, give you the wisdom and the powers to keep on putting your f powers on, on Shlom Bait when you're going to lose it, because you're going to lose it. Because uh, life have uh, up and downs, and nothing going to change it. And Rabbeinu said that the person have to go through thousands of up and downs, alafim shil yeridot valiot, downs and ups. First the downs. 
ירידות ועליות. If he wants to be a kosher person, so you're gonna have to climb and then to fall, to climb and then to fall. But when you learn and when you see from 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 the experience that you purchased in your life that it's worthy, that it, that shlom bayit pays, you see the the results with your children, you see the results in the, in your relationship. I know that you're a very sensitive public, so I cannot really talk all the way, but uh, it's, a, it's a very sensitive public, no? There are people that are so far, so far from honoring their wives, so far from that, that they cannot understand even, even now that we haven't said much, we haven't said almost nothing, they cannot understand what, what I'm talking about at all. We're so far from respecting our wives, really, to treat them how, how that we should. We're so selfish, we're so stuck in ourselves, in, 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 in our self-stink, that, that we don't understand at all how much, how much we should be ashamed and how much we should honor them and respect them and really to treat them good, good. You don't understand the the spiritual shefa bounty and, and how much your wife, she's, she's guarding you and, and spiritually supports you and builds you and, and, and make you normal and sane. I know a person that was, he was about to lose his mind. He was about to lose his mind as a bachelor. He was, he was almost out of this world. And when he got married, he just went back to Trek. That's it. Just after the marriage, the marriage, just it brought him back to the, to the holy zone. It just brought him back home. One minute before that person was 100% lost. Lost, lost, with no hope. You couldn't stop him from killing himself. You couldn't stop him and teach him Torah. You, you couldn't talk to him. He wasn't there. One day after his wedding, in the wedding itself, it brought him back to, to the road, back to the straight line of life. How many people know the, that feeling? So now that you that you, you realize how much good you have in your life, that you got your sanity back, that you, you got your, 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 your future back. How can you not appreciate the source of all of that good? Or at least the one that, that hands you, the, 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 that those are our wives. Like the Trabchia is saying. Oh, nice. <laughs> Yes, please. I, I drove with the uh, with Eitan to the mikveh and uh, in in Queens, and we we passed um, the street. What was the name of that street? No, I have to remember that. It's my Girsa de Ankuta. Springfield. <laughs> Springfield Street. So he tells me, here is Springfield, and that's it. And he, he just, he moved on. But I was there for a longer time. <laughs> I've been to Springfield, no, but it's a different Springfield. It's not a street in Queens. Talking about the city. The empire. So, Baruch Hashem, Hashem gives us the opportunity to do tshuva. And He gives us wives to respect and children to educate and friends to honor and, and, and rabbi to appreciate. And all of those things that Hashem Yidbarach is bringing to us in the world, those are tests for us, opportunities for us to work on our attributes, on our midot. 
that you're going to have the ability to work on your kindness, that you're going to have the, to reveal your kindness. If not, if you won't have on who to influence, on who to, to who to give, you will never going to be able to, to express who that you are, the good that you have inside. And now it's a little bit hard for you to sacrifice from your comfort, from, from to, 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 to break a little bit, to shake your, your, your laziness. So what that you block is, is the opportunity to become to be who that you are, to become to be that kind person that you can be, that honorable person that you can be. Ezo mechubad, who is an honorable person? The one that respects others, not neighbors. Others includes your wife. Others in include your children. Include everyone that's that around you. You need to respect everyone. And now... You're trying to respect and, and you're, you're willing to respect for the next hour. And if, she, if it's not paying back, so if it doesn't pay back, so that's it. I honored her and I was so nice and I was so kind. You need to be an honor, honorable person no matter what. Like that Tamar. She was ready to throw herself to the fire and she wouldn't tell about Yehuda a word no matter what. And think about the cruelty of that. It wasn't Yehuda in the end. Yehuda Hoda. He, he admit. He said yeah, it was me. He said you're right. But think about that person Yehuda if he wouldn't admit. And still Tamar is ready to die even for a horrible person like that potential Yehuda. For that Yehuda that might not admit. And she's also, for him, she's ready to die. Let's say for the giant Yehuda, holy tribe, or the head of the holy tribes, okay, for him, I'm ready to die. Okay, wonderful, great Tamar. No, not only for him. Even if he's not going to admit, even if he's going to burn me and my baby, that it's his child, he's going to throw us all to the fire, I'm not saying a word. Like Rachel Imenu. Rachel Imenu, even in, if she's going to marry a Sav, she's going to marry a Sav. Can you, can you imagine it for yourself, the, the, the new husband of Rachel Imenu, a Sav Rasha, that he's raping women and killing them after the Midrash is telling. He was going and raping and killing. That was his hobby. Ishdami, man of blood. He was going and raping and murdering people. That's how he was spending his noons, his free time. Oh, I have an hour. Great. Going, slaughtering some people and coming back to the Bet Midrash. Ah, I know a few people like those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> going home, shechting everyone, and then coming to complete the job in the Bet Midrash. Ah, now I relax. Killed my wife, thank God. Murdered my children. Now I can learn to run. Ah, such nachat. There's a nachat is one of the of the tzetzayim. I love nachat. <laughs> one of the tzetzayim of of Esav Rasha. For us, it's an opportunity. We're serving Hashem. You respect your wife because Hashem wants you to respect your wife, not because you're afraid of your wife, not because you wish to achieve the success that's going to come after honoring your wife. Not because that you have a desire to have very polite and good children, that your, your very happy wife is going to educate you. No, you don't do it for no reason. Just because that you're committed to Hashem Barach, and that's it. And Hashem wants me to honor people, and I'm going to honor everyone. Even when they're rebuking me, yes, even when they're rebuking me. Even if they're insulting me, yes. Even if they're disgracing the most precious and important and secret things, inner things that I ever told them in my life, yes, even then. Noach lo adam, it's more comfortable, more good for the person, if you're a person, if you're a human being, to be thrown into the fire and not to insult someone else in public. How many people are killing their wives in public, insulting them? Do this, do that. How many times I told you, look at her, saying things. On the mother of your children, on the woman that she's sacrificing her life to be with you and to, to fix things for you and to do things for you. And you can laugh at her and you can rebuke her and you can hurt her and you can not even, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm. Even just ignoring her, not answering her, not listening to her, not laughing from her jokes. I don't know, I just, just 
the most the most the smallest thing if you're going to check inside you're going to see that it's such horrible cruelty that you have inside that 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 you're the nest for that for that horrible cruelty you cannot host those midot inside of you you cannot let yourself be so cruel not to laugh from a joke of a person if a person now tells you a joke okay it's a very stupid joke you're right so what you know, so Avram is laughing from all of my jokes. <laughs> You're a kind person. Chesed Avram is doing kindness. He's laughing from my jokes. He makes me happy. He's smiling to me all of the classes. <laughs> Let me feel good with myself, bro. The guys behind that camera, they don't have that uh, privilege. Oh, Hashem. I'm very happy to be with you and to talk to you, and to see all of you growing and developing and changing. For me, it's the best thing in the world, Mamash, that I can see each and every one of you growing and developing and taking those words of, of, of its wisdom of Hashem. Chokhmah, the, 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 the word wisdom, Chokhmah, the four letters, if you cut it, you have Koach Hashem. The power of Hashem. It's wisdom. It's the power of Hashem. That you know that all of the powers that you have are all coming from Hashem. So even if He gave you wisdom, if He gave you chokhmah, it's all power of Hashem. It's 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 koach ma'asav v'gid la'amo. He is telling His power, revealing His power to His nation, to because He wants them to have the knowledge, because He wants to to inherit the land. He wants them to be wise, to have faith. So when I see each and every one of you developing so much and you don't know that when when you look at yourself every day you don't see the change you but when you look from the side so you see a huge change and even if you were religious before you came and those words those conversations are changing each and every one of us they're changing us i know because your wife they're uh, sending emails <laughs> of, of appreciation and the ones that the wives have and wrote those emails, so go to the fields, go to work. Oh, <laughs> Hashem. Every one of us can see wonderful results and huge, huge developments in our purity, in our holiness, in our holy desires. How much Hashem is opening our eyes to believe in Him, to trust Him again, to have patience, to get rid of our arrogance, our gava, all of our imaginations. Somehow you find more powers inside of yourself to stand in tests that you know for sure that you couldn't stand in those tests before. Oh Hashem, I'm happy. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up guys? It's Obi from the Imuna channel here in Jerusalem. Subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to Rav Dror. So show me some love. Show Rav Dror some love. Subscribe to the channel. We post new videos almost every single day. Awesome classes like this. If you have any questions on the classes you just watched or just other questions that you have or comments that you want to tell us, post them in the comments below. And we do a question and answer session every single week. So we'll either answer your question in that on video or we'll make sure to get you an answer. And of course, check out immunachannel.com. Awesome website where we have tons more inspirational content. We have videos, blogs, music, and all sorts of cool stuff. So get involved over there at immunachannel.com and we'll see you in the comments. Thank you.